everybody, Flab Nobbles back in an episode of My Garage. Um, okay, so consensus seems to be that I need to A, install the transmission separate, which is really weird. I don't know why this fell. Oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't bolt it down. Um, it has a clutch and a flywheel on it. So, or like, well, all the clutches there. Let me see. Oops, tighten that up. There we are. And tighten that up. There we go. Okay. We're going to need an exhaust for this, mind you, but eh. let's, uh, now someone begged me to put a five speed. Yeah, this is weird. Cause like whenever I've installed an engine in real life, generally I try to have the transmission attached. Cause it's nice to be able to work on all that stuff outside. But Hey, you know what game you do? You would do as you like. Okay. We're going to install that too. There we are. <sighs> Okay, that's good. I think that's good. I think that's good. That's tight. Tight like a tiger. Now, there's front shock absorber. Did I get the other front shock absorber on? Yes, I did. Okay, so all this is hooked up. Now, where's that? Did we did we manage to save the fuel line? Oh, there it is. Because I know this can probably go in. The truck has seats, which is lovely. Oh, we have fuel pumps on the other side on this. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. That should take care of that all the way back. It's nice to be able to see all this stuff. Fuel tank's good, it looks like. Okay. Whoa, whoa, geez. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Oh, it looks like the steering column in this is shot. Maybe? I don't know. Let me just take a boo here. Yeah, I feel like the steering column is not doing great, but let me see here. What do you think, boys? Does that steering column look a bit shot? Because it looks a bit shot to this guy. Now, we may have to put this actually back in for a moment until I can, to get the, uh, steering wheel off. Is that, is that how you do it? I just need to see inside here for a moment, please. Thank you. Okay. Where's the, oh, there it is. I thought, Okay, we may have to get a new steering wheel, but I, I can't remember how to get that off, and I don't want to fight with it. So this is coming off. Or maybe it's a pry bar situation, but no, usually they have one big nut in the middle you can take off. Sometimes I like to be, have a big nut, but, you know, most of the time I'm, I'm happy not. Let me see here. Now, if someone wants to go to the junkyard and get a bunch of stuff, I totally agree um, that we need that. Yeah, here's the new steering column. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got to make sure it's for the right one. We have a steering wheel. I got a barking dog. Yep. <laughs> of course I do. Because I just started recording. Why would there not be? Now, is it? Oh, no. See, this is what I'm worried about. Because this, if I go to all cars and go interior, do they all use the same steering column? Is that, is it like one of those things where it's just like this universe? Oh, see, look at this. I don't know what kind of steering column I have. Let's go look at it. It's got two stocks and a slight bend. You see that? But I don't see that in here. Now, what do they call it now? Hmm. Let's look at up steering for a sec. Steer. Okay. Okay, this looks like it right here. It's got a slight bend and then the two stocks, right? Yeah, we're going to try that one. because But it's 219 bucks. I don't got a lot of bucks. Oh, well, we need it. Oh, okay, this looks about right. Oh. <gasps> It is. Okay, perfect. Now, to get the steering wheel off, though, that is something we're going to have to figure out here. 
Let's see. Where are you? You're right in between here. Okay. I still don't know how to get you off. Oh, oh, I had it. There we go. It was in there somewhere. I knew it. There we are. Tightening. <sighs> okay, I can't seem to tighten here. Okay, what if I just peek inside it? There. Okay, excellent. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't think the gear shift is necessary anymore. Because it's got a column shifter now. Whoop. But we'll hang on to it for now. Because, <laughs> you know, this is a gear shift, man. We can probably sell that. All right, let me see. So let's go. Oh, you know what we need? We need a parking brake, and we probably need a master cylinder, don't we? And we don't have a ton of money here. Okay. Oh, no. And we also need windshield wipers, but that's not a heavy concern of our mind right now. There we go. Oh, this still got fluid in it. All right, let's see, let's see. Drop this right here for a moment, go here, and we want B200 engine. Is it under engines? Or is, oh, brakes, it's under brakes. Let me see. Damn it. Okay, so it's it's gonna be all cars, brakes. I'm assuming, oh no, what kind do I have? Is it the, it's, it's the longer style one, right? Oh, look, it all leaked out. Well, never mind. It's the longer style one. I'm going to assume it's that one. Okay, we're down to 96 bucks. We got to finish this project in, in our... Uh... Oh, I had it. There we go. Okay. Now, the thing in the driveway, we drove it somewhere. <laughs> I remember that. Um. Okay, where is it? There. Okay. We have fluid in the garage. What is this job again? Mm. Can you paint my car to match? Sure. What do you got? Ugh. Original color, current color. Well, it, it's all it's all the same. It says the color condition is wrong. All right, BCA 180. We got it. Let's see. Uh, color. BCA 180. Let's buy one and see if it's a different color because it looks similar. Oh, God, no. It's not even close. All right. No problem. This is 700 bucks on the line right here. If I can get it done relatively quickly and not go through a ton of paint. Which, as you can see, I'm going through a ton of paint. <laughs> Let's see here. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see you hiding there. I should really wash this off before I try to paint it. Okay. All right. We're actually getting quite a bit of coverage out of this one little spray can. It'd be nice if you could buy bigger ones. Oh, you know what else I need for that engine is the cover for the air filter. I just forgot about that because I saw the air filter laying on the ground. I'm like, what's that doing there? <laughs> it's because I don't have the top cover on the thing, so we're going to have to get that. Okay. Alrighty, that's painted there. And down here. All 
And up here. What was that? And right to that. Down that post. You know what part of the problem is? Is I have the light on, which is reflecting everything. Okay, there's another one down. All right, I can afford two more, so we'll see how this goes. We might be selling some things to get uh, that f finished. There we are, get that. The underside of that. All right. That look that's starting to look all right. That's starting to look all right. Oh, okay, yep, don't want to do that. All right, let me see here. All righty. Oh. Mm, not bad although I am a little concerned about the roof and I never get these on the first pass so yeah we're gonna have to figure out what we missed now normally it's the door panels but so let's just pop those off right away there's some of that problem right there mm. Oh, damn. Okay, we're on our last can. Well, we, unless we can come up with two, three, 325. I think that'll do. What about the bottom of the door, just for safety's sake? Inside the door jam here. Okay. Oh, where'd it go? And this can go back on. There we are. And then over here. Okay. Oh, look at this. We didn't get hardly any of that. Hmm. You'd be nice even a percentage of the car that was painted. So you could be like, oh, I missed this and that. And, you know, I missed 30% of it or whatever. So then you know you're an idiot. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I don't mind the star system, but it lies to you. It's looking good, looking good. What about the underside of the door? Looking all right. What's this here? Oh, here we go. Look at this. Okay, there's that. I didn't check the rear door jam on this side, but it looks like it's all right. That's fine. That looks all right. Let's see. What's the paint condition in now? Color correction is not perfect. You know what it needs? A wash, because it's got some dirt. And maybe we're missing some stuff under the dirt. Yeah, like, see that? Okay, here we go. Now, we'd probably see dirt there, but... Where'd my paint go? There it is. There we are. Let's pop the trunk lid open. Missed a couple spots in there you can see. Okay. Right there, I think it looks like we missed a spot. Color correction still not correct. 
There's some over there. Not correct yet. A little bit there, but not a lot. I wonder if it might be behind the bumpers. We've had that problem before. All right, let's pop the bumpers off and see. Well, once we put, you know, this back on. <laughs> All right, get back on there, bud. All right, tightening. There we go. Oh, we're going to need that. Wait a minute, I missed some right there. Look. Nope, still not good. Some right there. Jeez, I really missed a lot on the front here. Or right there, too. Look at this. Oh, wait a minute. Right back in there. Look at that. Look in, look in. Oh, right there. Okay. What about now? Not good. All right. Let's get the bumpers off and see what we got there. Well, that's actually not too bad. I don't see any missing spots. Unless it's behind the plate. Which doesn't appear to be behind the plate. <sighs> Let's take the rear bumper off. Where's the rear bumper hole? Let me see. Oh, there it is. Where is it? There. Oh, look at that. All right, let's try this. How's that doing? Still not great. Mm, I wonder what I'm missing here. I'm tempted just to uh, <laughs> kill this mission because it's just being a problem now. Wait a minute. Look at all this. Boy, that's a difficult area to paint, isn't it? Okay, how about now? Still not great. Well, yeah, some parts are missing. I have the whole bumper off. Is it the roof or something and I just can't see it? Now that looks all right. Well, let's put the bumper back on. <sighs> now that I'm pretty sure this is fixed. Okay. Color condition still not great. I don't know what I'm missing. 
Because if I send this away now, I'm going to be... Ooh, maybe we should try behind the the things here. What are these things called? The tail lights. That's a screwdriver. I, I'd be out like five hundred dollars worth of money here. <laughs> if I said that away. Where's my screwdriver? Must have left it on the ground over here when I was doing the brakes. There it is. Okay, let's see. Okay. Boop. Well, that's not it. Oh, we got a little spot right there. But I don't think that would have been enough to... trigger it. Okay. And tighten. All right, give me a minute. I'll be back. Oh, okay. There's some loose welds. Don't care. Oh, my God. It was the back of the one of the mirrors. Oh, my goodness. Get out of here. But we have $800 now. Okay, you know what we need? Oh, we need wheels is what we really need. Um, This can go in the trash. We need to fill up that. We need a parking brake. But I don't... Let's get a parking brake. Just because I can't... Oh, wait a minute. Did I already install a parking brake on this? Oh, I did. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, that's fine then. So really, we need to put the air filter back on. We need the top to the air filter, which we can't really go anywhere without. We need a battery and battery cables. So let's go to all cars. Let's go here. Okay, let's see. We'll go to engine. We're going to need... That doesn't matter, I guess. All cars. We're going to need a battery. There we go. And we're going to need... The top of the air filter. Okay, that's fine. And then we're going to need wiring. But none of these things are super duper. What the heck? Oh, that doesn't fit. Well, that's a waste of money. Get out of here. Okay, so which one do we need? Is it is it this one? God. It's orange. <laughs> Yay. Perfect. All right. Let me see. You know what? I've lost my pry bar. Um, I have to get one. Someone remind me in the comments because I'm sure I will forget. Okay. So that's on there. Coils on. We need the battery in. And then we need new, new battery leads. So... Uh, is that specific to this? It should be, but not necessarily, I guess. Uh, is it the mains wiring we need? I think it's the mains wiring. All right, let's try that. I think the wiring is just like a basic kit. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I left my Rolsch right there. Okay, there we are. Ugh. Tighten, tighten, tighten. And then back of the alternator. Should be a ground on the block. There we go. And then the starter. Oh, we don't have a starter. Well, guess what we need? <laughs> we ain't going anywhere without a starter. Let me see. V8. Okay, we'll go to the Chad because it uses the same engine. And where is the starter for this? Oh, there it is. 200 bucks. Jeez. This better be one of those high torque mini starters. All right, let me see here. I'm going to put 
UN. There we go. Go. All right. And then that can go on that. Why do you like this game? You know, I was saying there's only one to bolt in the steering thing, steering box, and someone's like, oh, that's the way all Fords are, blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, I've worked on, like, dozens of trucks just like this. My stepfather had a truck just like this. That is not true. <laughs> just because you don't like something doesn't mean it's it, it's bad. It just means you don't like it. You're a Chev guy, you're a Dodge guy, sure, go ahead. But you don't become one of the best-selling trucks in the history of mankind without doing something right. The fact people can't accept that is really strange to me. We Oh, yeah, we need radiator hoses. Okay. So, should we check? Is there specific to this, or is this one of those things? Yeah, there's not a lot going on here. So I'll go with the Chad and lower hose. Like, I've worked on all manner of vehicles, and I'll tell you right now, ain't, and I've said it before, I'll say it again. None of them are any better than anybody else. They're just different. And not by a lot, just by the, the littlest of bits. Ugh. There's a reason why an engine at the same cubic inch is flowing the same amount of air makes the same amount of power. Like, that's... The Engine Masters guys did a whole test on this where they took a 351 Windsor and a 350 Chev, so within, you know, the noise of size, and gave it the same flowing heads, roughly, like, within, again, within reason, I mean, nearly identical power. It's just an air pump. There's nothing special there. <laughs> it doesn't matter who makes it, it's just an air pump. Okay, that's hooked up. We have a starter. We're going to need probably oil. I'm assuming because, oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Where's the dipstick on the, oh, there it is. Oh, we're bone dry. But everything's hooked up, so. <sighs> Let's put some oil in it. I think we got oil in here. Do we have oil in here? Coolant. We do not. We do have coolant, though, which is probably good. We'll put the coolant in it. And now we got to figure out, one, we got to go get oil. So there's that. And two, wait a minute. Oh, got the radiator cap on this one's black. All right, here we go. There we are. Okay, we just need to tip that. We also got to figure out how to get wheels. And we may be doing that from the junkyard. And we may have to take a customer car down to get it. We've only got $284 to our name. Okay. Any second, though, and we still need oil, so we're going to have to go down to town to get oil anyway, which we can pop into town easy enough. Okay, good, excellent. And on you go. All right, so oil we need. Oh, we're going to put the cab on, obviously. Um, ugh. How are we going to do this? Should we get a few extra bucks, do you think, before we go? Well, let's, you know, let's head down and see what, what a tire's worth um, at the junkyard. And then we'll stop over and get oil. So let's go to taxi to garage. No, taxi to junkyard. I'm just curious what a, a wheel will cost. And obviously... Oh, wait a minute. I need my... Ugh. Fiddlesticks, I need my, my ranch. Unless there's one just laying around, we're going to need the wrench. And now we got to wait for 20 minutes <laughs> while this happens. 
God. That's what I get for making the, the junkyard so big. Come on, baby. Don't be like this. I can hear you. All right, here we go. Ooh, what's a rim worth? That's a 15 inch rim. It's 14 bucks for a rim. You kidding me? That's a pretty good deal. Not a single truck in the mix. $25. Okay, so we got to figure out what's a, what size of one we have. Oh, I could have came here and got a master cylinder for 24 bucks. Well, poop. Right, so there's no trucks here, so we're going to wait till tomorrow. But what else do we need, really? We need doors for a truck, which we can't get here. We need exhaust for a truck, which we can't get here. Well, not today, anyway. Um. Okay, let's go to town. We'll get the oil. Taxi to garage. There we go. Now, we only have $264 to our name, and we're going to need at least two oils. Okay, that's that, and here we go. We have energy drinks. Oh, here we go. All right, we should be able to add those to the backpack, and uh, let's uh, taxi home. So let's uh, taxi to the house. All right, let's uh, put the oil engine oil in. Okay. I think we're going to run a synthetic in this. I'd run a synthetic in this. Synthetics are great. Okay, here we go. And before anybody jumps on me about how terrible they are, you just got to match it to your engine. Ugh. There we are. What I like about synthetics is you can get super lightweight synthetics that protect really well and uh that allows you to gain horsepower believe it. they did a, a test once again i watched this test where they had uh royal purple lightweight synthetic against just regular standard oil now get me, get me wrong there's nothing wrong with regular oil um but because it was so lightweight you gained horsepower <laughs> it, it took the uh rotational mass was actually that different the viscosity but, you know, don't take my word for it. Go read up on it. It's, you know, you can say all you want, but the facts are the facts. <clears throat> there we go. Whether we like them or not. All right, so that's good. Let's go sleep. We're going to pop over to the, the junkyard. Oh, yeah, we got to figure out what kind of rim we have. Let's see. Oop, let's see here. It's that style wheel, the multi-giant bolted pattern. Well, we can all figure it out. All right, let me see. We're going to sleep on the couch here till morning. Not sure what time he opens, but 8 o'clock seems good. Let's grab. Where's our wrench? There we are. Bust out the wrench. Good. Uh, what else will we make? You know what? We need to get a new pry bar. We should probably grab that while we're in town at some point. But not a huge problem, I guess, for now. Let's see. Let's uh, taxi into town. Taxi, taxi, taxi. Wait a minute. I grabbed that, right? Okay, taxi to garage. I always think I want to say town. But it's... Okay. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, here we go. No, no pry bar here. I lost mine. Well, we'll go check the other shop. It's just on the ground somewhere, and I'm too lazy to look for it. That or I left it somewhere. There's always that option. Ooh, this is getting... Look, I hate that spot. Oh, hey, bush. I like how there's just one random bush beside that tree. I like that style. You open? Oh, you're closed. What time do you open? What, what time do you open, bud? Does it say on the sign? Let me see. The best wheels on the market... For you to vroom vroom in the city. Lewis. Lewis. Louie, buddy. You don't have a sign up to tell me what time you open. <gasps> my sand. At least he doesn't get rid of my stuff. Oh, wait a minute. What's that say back there? Oh, that's just a chroming thing. Okay, well. I'm going to wait two more minutes. See if it opens at eight. If not. Oh, come on, buddy. Buddy, 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 
Eight o'clock. Open. Yes. Okay. Sweet. Do you have a? Do you have a? Tell you I'm a French immigrant. It's hard to believe, huh? It is, and that's a good accent, though. <laughs> I will say that. Hey, bud, what are those wheels worth that I have? Oh, it's these ones here. Look, they only come in one size, and they're these ones. 120 bucks at 16 inches. Well, you know what we're doing? We're going to the junkyard, baby. Okay. Hopefully we can get them with wheels on them. Even worn out wheels would be better than nothing. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Waiting. I'm going to have a sip of my soda pop while I wait. Here we go. Listen to this. There it is. Got my soda pop. Ugh. You know, people always ask me why I drink soda pop when I'm diabetic and every time I'm on stream. Well, one, I drink diet soda, so it's zero sugar. Two, um, it clears phlegm really well. Ugh, okay, perfect. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Now, do all trucks rock the same rims or is it just certain trucks? Okay, those are different. Those are five bolt. Those are all five bolt wheels. I may have to buy new ones, I guess. Let's take the taxi to the 120 bucks a piece. Wait a minute. Those are only five bolt up front. Oh, wait a minute. It's the, can we put the hubs on this to put the, the, the bigger wheels on there? Hang on a second. How much one of them hubs worth? I need to go with the thingy here. Let me see. That's not under there. Is it under accessories? Where was that? Suspension? Look at this. Look at this. Okay. So if I buy one of these, can I slap it onto that to get the bigger wheel on it? Oh, yeah. Here we go. We're going to need that. Yeah. All right. So we need 420 bucks. Of which we have a total of about 35. So we got about 70 bucks. We need $420. To get the rims, how we're going to get them home, I have no idea yet. This may be a customer car thing. But at 120 bucks a piece, unless we sleep, 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 but even then we're not going to have enough money. So let's do a couple of small jobs here. Ooh, take that job. The battery wires are bad. No problem. What 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 is this for? Uh, that's a wolf. Okay, engine should be the main harness. Where are you? There it is, mains. Okay, take this over here, pop that open. Okay, grab that. And why are you being like this game? Okay. Why can't I get this one? There we go. And there should be one on the back of the block here, if I remember correctly. That I cannot see. <sighs> there, and then the starter. There. Okay. New wiring can go on. Where'd the battery go? Oh, the battery fell out. 
<laughs> nope, the battery. All right, here we go. Okay, tighten that. And then that. And then that. And then the starter. There. Okay. That should correct all of that. All right, we gained ourselves a rim. Now. Tires are going to be more a problem. Um, that's why I really want to go there and get truck rims at the junkyard, which I think would be smarter. Sure, I'll take that job. 170 bucks. Nice. Okay, what do we got? What is it? Oh, Chad. Or a bird or whatever this is. Is it your starter? doesn't look like the star. I can't really tell. Starter looks all right. Fuel pump looks all right. Coil. There we go. We need a new coil for a Chad or a, bar a V8. Uh, Chad, 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 Chad. Let's see here. Coil, coil, coil. There we go. And, uh. One, I'm going to grab this. And two, we're going to grab that. And we're going to put that coil back on there. Excellent. Get rid of that. Well, we're getting closer. I'd like to get this started by the end of today. Oh, yeah, we might as well get rid of all this crap while we're at it. It's not worth anything, but there's no point in having a mess we don't need. Okay, now let's uh, sleep and head back to the junkyard and see if we can't find... There we go. Oh, yeah, we got the pry bar in here, too. Yes. Okay, excellent. All right. Let's um, taxi to the junkyard. Ah, new day, new stuff. Oh, oh. Yeah, nice, nice little bit of waiting, too. <laughs> we like waiting. Don't judge a guy. Any minute now. Any minute, it's going to happen. And just right now. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. So we're looking on the out. Uh, we're looking out for. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, a whole box. That's cheap. <laughs> it's just about uh, all my money, but yeah. You don't have any wheels. What is going on here? Your five bolt wheels. No, nope, there's nothing. There's none of those cargo trucks around. I got real lucky, I guess, finding that first one. I don't want to spend all that money. Let me see. Back to the house. Let's give this another shot for another day. There's my screwdriver. I was hoping I'd see my pry bar laying around, but I lied to myself. Let's go back to 8 o'clock the next morning. There's 9 o'clock the next morning. We're going to taxi to the junkyard. Sorry about all the waiting here. But uh, I could lower the amount of stuff that shows up, but then we get less options to choose from. And by the looks of things, we need as many options as possible to choose from. <laughs> Come on. Any second now. That's the reflex. Just going to the Pinocchio. What? Okay, what happened? 
I heard something to my right. And that's a little scary. All right, what do we got? Oh, wait a minute. We may have a big old flatbed truck over here. Let's see. Uh, you have regular wheels. You have regular wheels. <sighs> this is not great. Like, I can put regular wheels on it, but it seems lame. Okay, I think we should... Oh, wait a minute. What do we got? What do we got? Mm. I think we may be stuck buying them, boys. Let's uh, take a taxi to the house and do a little bit of work, I guess. Wrong thing. Uh, can you f Sure, I can take this job. Let's let's fix some rust. Five hundred ninety-four bucks. All right. Let's see. Where's my where's my where's my rust deruster? There it is. Oh, it's got the cutting disc on it though. We might want to change that out. All right. Let's uh, derust. This is a terrible job, and I hate it, but it'll have to do. Oh yeah. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, wait a minute. Let's turn on my flashlight there. Oh, that got rid of that real fast. Got rid of that. That can't be all the rust. It's all the rust. Okay, what color is this? Oh eight oh nine oh one. All right, let's see color. Oh eight oh nine oh one. Oops. Oh eight oh nine oh one. Okay. How's that? Tuh. Yeah, it is. All right. Perfect. Well, now we got rim money because we only need three rims, technically. Okay, well, we got to go get three rims. Um, How we're going to get those back? Well, my friends, let's see. What do we got? Okay, you know what? We can take that job, too. Oh, perfect. That's purple. Look at that. That's cool. What what paint are you what what panel are you talking about that isn't the right color? Um <clears throat> I don't know what panel this is. That you're on about? Oh, well, that's fine. We will get to that. Hang on a second here. Let's see. It's uh, 150618. Color. 150618. You know, I kind of I digging it, man. It's like very purpley purple. Please don't get away from me now. Okay, why why are you rolling into everything? Don't don't do that. <sighs> oh come on! Oh my god! Why why is it so hard to jump in the into the boxes on these things? I don't understand why the game is designed like this. <laughs> Because it makes it real difficult to spray the wall of this. And you got to kind of... Like, I don't even know if I'm getting any of it. Some of it. Look, look at that. You can't even reach it. And yet I can't jump into it. Oh my god. Ugh. 
Can I jump on top of the welder? Nope. I just push it around. Oh my god. Oh god, I, I made it. Okay, here we go. Let's get it quick. Don't run out of paint now, boys. Okay, is that is that good enough? <sighs> Please tell me that's good enough. Completed. All right, nice. We're going to keep this around because I kind of like that purple. All right, so. <sighs> oh, damn it. I wanted to take that truck to go pick up rims. Ugh. I don't care about something around the shifting. I can't start my car. Handling, shifting, overheating. Yes. Okay. This we can do because we know it runs and we can take it down to go get rims. All right, let me see. Get you in there. I saw that. That can go in there. Rims and maybe tires. We might be able to afford tires. We need three rims, three tires. Hopefully we can fit them all in this garbage. All right, let me see. If I damage your car, I'm sorry. Boy, this thing doesn't like to turn. All right. Now, I shouldn't be throwing new tires into a customer's car, but... Got to do what I got to do. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, we should probably pick up gas while we're in town, too. Because that truck won't have any gas. Well, it might have gas in it. It was sitting there, but, you know, we'll get gas anyway. Because we're going to have to buy a gas can to transport the gas. All right, here we go. What time is it? It's 10 in the morning. Oh, God, we also need an exhaust, but it's not super pressing. It's just going to be stupidly loud. Hopefully this will be able to fit three rims in it. Or wheels, if you prefer. Can you wait right here? I'm going to hop out for a second. I need these. I got a joke for you. Do you know how to call someone without a body and a nose? Nobody knows. If you talk to me again, I'm going to have to hurt you. All right, so. You know what the problem is going to be? Is... He's got no way to get the, the wheels on the on the rims. So we have five hundred dollars. We need what size are these wheels? Heavy duty sixteens. I'm not sure what kind of tire I have on there already. So we're going to have to find that out. But I'm going to assume they're... High wall 16s, probably? Well, if not, we're going to find out, eh? Alright, so... Okay, that's sitting in there actually quite nicely. You know, Books' car is so big, uh, she can get all her tires in the in the trunk <laughs> when she goes to uh, put on her winter tires. Oh, it's great. Okay, that works. Now, what else am I going to need for this? Do I have the tire? Oh, you know, I might as well grab, a, grab the sand while I'm here. All right. Well, I hope this guy's car doesn't run out of gas. 
thought he told you to paint it. Yeah, I want to make sure it's faster after it was done painted. Okay, here we go. Let's get this in there. Okay. Into here. Back it up some. Alright, let's... Hopefully all that stays in there. But that gives us everything we need, I think, to drive it. Oh, wait a minute. We need a gas can. And fuel. All right, let me see. Do you have a gas can here, or am I, am I running to get a gas can? Oh, there's a gas can. Nice. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to have to put this ga gasoline in it. There we go. Okay, oh, this is the this is the is this the diesel pump? That's diesel. Okay, we're fine there. Hopefully this works. That's full, and there we go. There we are, and not on the roof. Passenger seat, please. Oh my god, Wait, are you serious? Get in there. All right. Those are all staying in there, that's good. And parking brake off, put her in gear. Yeah, everybody always wants a manual. Like, I drive a manual every day. Um, and I love it. But, and people are like wondering why I want to build an automatic. It's because I, I, just because I've never done it in the game. I've never put an automatic transmission in anything in this game. Is this mine? Or is this somebody? What, oh no, wait a minute. No, this isn't mine. We made this mistake before. It is up here, though. Okay, there we are. Should be at the top of the hill here. Perfect. Now we can paint that panel. <sighs> Make a few bucks, but before we do that... Alright, excellent. So... Oh no. Got that out. Mm. Trunk won't open. Who needs a trunk to open? There we go. This can come. I hope that other one's a heavy duty sidewall. Cause if it's not, we're going to be riding on a bit of an angle, which, you know, won't, oh no, it won't hurt anything until I go get a new wheel, but it'll just drive a little funny. I hope these are high sidewalls. All right, on you go. <sighs> Perfect. All right, let's see. I guess I should probably stick the cap, the cab back on too. That might help it start. <laughs> that's where the 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 cylinder is, the, the the ignition cylinder. All right, let me see. All right. Oh my god, that was a tire. Why did I grab that? That's a tire. This rim over and then put that down like this so we can grab the rim okay excellent all right and then there goes there and then on you go all righty so now we got to get these wheels onto here which is not going to be as easy as it sounds because this thing does not cooperate height wise uh, even with the even with the jack all right so let's get these on 
and we got the one on, so I don't know why we shouldn't be able to get the other one on. Okay. Okay, can this, will this go on now? Nope. So that's not high enough. Ugh. Come on. No, that's not going to be high enough. The problem with the jack is that it slips off everything. Oh, God. Is that is that on enough? Oh, that got it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that one's on. All right. Now, we do need to inflate it, but for the sake of not tipping it over to one side. Okay, what are you doing? Stop it. Okay. Okay, quick, quick, quick. There we go. All right. Now they're all flat, mind you, but that's all right. We can get get after that. <sighs> you know what they should do to make this game a bit easier to work with? Is that jacking points that the, the jack attaches to? That would make it significantly easier to do this. Oh, is it going to go on there? Is it going to bang off the jack? Oh, it didn't jack off. Okay, let me see. And, you, oh, no. You, 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 you. Now you're not coming off. You, 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 and you. Okay. That's good. Now we need the fuel, but we need to pump the tires up first. Let's see here. Where's this Schrader valve? There it is. Okay, nice. Now don't be rolling too far. Perfect. You're already up. I think we got away with it. I think it's a high sidewall tire, so I think that's good. All right. Yeah, I think we lowered the suspension. I think the red suspension is lowered. We may have to put the green one on at some point, but for now, let's, uh, slap a cab on. Oh, there it is. The cab is on. Almost. All right. Let's see if she'll at least turn over before we throw gas in it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Okay. When I hooked up the brakes, the, the master cylinder wasn't there, which means I probably... And there we go. Okay, that's on. Now I gotta warn everybody <clears throat> is the, the we should probably get the brakes on. Um, this is gonna be real loud. Alright, so there's no exhaust. So <laughs> it's gonna be horrible sounding. Okay. So be ready for that. Okay, can't quite reach that. There we go. There 
there we go. Jeez, that, that was a... Well, it's not full, but it'll do. It'll, at least it'll stop. <sighs> Thank God they don't make you bleed the system, eh? All right, let's see. Let's get the jack out so we're not stuck on the jack. Oh, God. Uh, uh. Oh, God. Oh, God, don't hit that car. Parking brake, please. Parking brake works. Nice. All right. Pick up this wrench, drop it here. Okay, look at look at how far look how far inbound that wheel is. We need to put the ones that make it stick out further on there. 100 percent Look at that. That is an embarrassment to trucks, but that's okay. That's an easy fix. Okay. After this. Lights on. Hmm. Oh, it had it. Why is it going forward while in reverse? Um. Okay, what's going on? What happened? It was going forward while in reverse. Um. Now, oh, you know what I didn't do? I remember now. <sighs> I didn't tighten those up, but that, that has nothing to do with it. Oh, God, don't hit that, please. All right, let's push this over here. Well, it does run, though. Hey, there's my thing. Oh, God, no! Oh, my God. Why you like this truck? Okay, so... Why is it going... <laughs> It goes forward in reverse. Why is that? Um. This makes no sense. And we may be switching to a five speed because it does run though. And it is moving under its own power, but why is it going? Okay, first of all, let's get rid of this. Well, let's, let's paint this because now we can. Let's see. <sighs> What's your color, dude? Mm, 0711OA. 07110. Oh, God. 0711OA, right? So, yeah, does someone care to explain this to me? Okay, that's not right. How was that? That's like, that can't be right. Is that, is that right? Yeah, no, I completed it. Get, oh, there we go. Perfect. All my stuff fell out. Is there like an automatic or something steering column that I don't have? Let's just go to all cars. I don't know. I have no idea. Like, that's the one I took out, but that's for a stick. The steering column... Is it under accessories? The steering, the steering, the steering column looks like it's for an automatic. 
So why is it making me go for, you know what? I have no idea. But what I do know is that we have to get uh, the spacers on the front here because this looks ridiculous. Um, but why? I don't understand. It's got a, it's got a gear shift on it. That is an automatic column shifter. Unless it's not. Is that a three speed on the tree column shifter? Uh, no, that's not it. Okay, what do I got? What do I call it? It's a steering column. Why won't this? Oh my God. Why? Why? Searching's stupid. It doesn't work. All right, let me see. I could have sworn that was the right column for that. Pedals automatic. Pedals automatic. Why is there three pedals on a automatic pedal setup? Is that my problem? Maybe? I don't know. But either way, I got to go because it's been a long time. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment, maybe subscribe. So want to tell me what's up with this pedal problem? Um, if you didn't like this, though, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. Next time we buy the spacers to correct this issue because this looks really weird. Out. Out.